Hello YouTube, this is graphic designer Roberto Blake and today in our Photoshop CC tutorial we're going to be learning about working with the dodge and burn tools non-destructively to create high contrast with your photos. And um, you can also use this technique to do creative lighting. If you've seen any of my um, speed art tutorials, um, you've seen how effective that can be. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and create two new blank layers that we're going to label dodge and burn. And we're going to use 50% uh, gray. And you can do that either by using uh, shortcut uh, control F5 or for those of you on a Mac, command F5. And uh, go ahead and fill with 50% gray. You can also do this in the edit menu. Once you have your dodge and burn layers set up, um, you can go ahead and put those on soft light. If you do, that's going to give you more subtle usage of this effect. Um, but once I get a chance, I'm just gonna actually switch these over to overlay for the sake of time, just because that gives you a much more pronounced um, and less gradual um, appearance for this, so that it just makes it faster for the purposes of our tutorial. Um, now if you have the uh, burn tool selected we can go ahead and get started. Make sure you're on your burn layer and we're just gonna go ahead and darken some areas that already would naturally be dark or, or that we prefer to be darker like the um, eyebrows, uh, some of the contours around the neck, some of the edges around the nose and um, the bottom of the lips, just some areas that we want that contrast. And again um, until I switch um, the blend modes here this isn't going to be nearly as pronounced as I would like so I'm going to switch over to overlay and you're going to see what this really does now um, and let's go ahead and turn our opacity up now since this is also more of a, a creative technique you can feel free to turn the opacity up to whatever you want use whatever brush sizes you want I'm just working with what I think is best for this particular photo and for the purposes of uh, demonstration in this tutorial so um, just you know kind of keep that in mind also you could use this um, dodge and burn technique on a single layer and do your dodging and burning on a singular layer I just prefer a lot of times to do it on um, two layers uh, with regard to um, initial retouching on a singular model but for overall lighting I usually do use one layer when I'm using dodge and burn to um, control lighting and light casting and I'll show you a little bit of that even on the separate layers here toward the end of the tutorial. Um, but you can already see uh, that this is making a difference. And I'm also just going to go ahead and um, do some of the arms here, um, create some more tone. And this is um, really good, by the way, if you're doing anything in terms of sports photography. Uh, definitely go ahead and use the dodge and burn tool. If you've seen any of my portfolio work and you've seen any of the uh, HBO boxing stuff, then you know that this is the technique that I use to really bring out and highlight the muscles in um, those boxers. So um, just kind of keep that in mind. And uh, this is probably more or less what we want out of um, our burn tool, at least for now. And then we're going to move on to using the dodge tool and take some of the areas that are already have highlights and just um, do a little more with them. But you can see the big difference that this already makes in um, this being a much more interesting photo and having some more depth. Now we're going to go ahead and use the dodge tool. And uh, usually you use this on a bit of the um, forehead where you already have lighting, the bridge of the nose. Um, I'm going to use it to bring out some of the details in the hair of our model where it's a little darker. And you can see what a difference that that's already making, particularly in the hair. When we go back over that with a little bit of burn later. It's going to really um, bring out some of the contrast in the darker areas. And uh, again, just do this as needed in your photos. Another good thing you can do with this is if you go into the eyes and if there's a little bit of red eye or some gray areas, you can go ahead and just use the dodge tool and brighten those up and really make those eyes pop. All right. And... I'm going to make our brush here a little bigger, adjust it, and do the bridge of the nose. All right. So as you can see, this is already making um, a big difference in making this a more dynamic photo. Um, and again, you just kind of want to do the areas that you want to bring out the most detail in. Um, I'm going to go back in with the burn tool here um, and add a little more contrast to some of the areas that we brightened, um, add some more depth add some contrast to the pearls around her neck here alright and again uh, 
whatever your photo needs is what you um, should do with this and you can adjust uh, these tools as needed whether it's uh, changing the midtones highlights or shadows whichever areas that you feel you're working on mostly I find that if you work with the midtones uh, you're fine and you don't really have to adjust too much but there's different effects that this can have sometimes depending on the skin tonality and color of your model so just kind of keep that in mind I may do a different tutorial um, to show you how this works with someone um, with darker skin I'll probably use um, some kind of athletic male photo for this because um, there's some other things that I can show you that are specific to doing this with um, sports sports related images um, and that's something I have a, um, a lot more um, experience with uh, than most people um, so um, we'll probably do that as another tutorial but not next week um, okay and I'm just gonna finish this up here and I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of what we talked about earlier in terms of the light casting. You can see that I'm using um, a larger brush here and I'm just going to do large strokes. But I want to create an artistic effect and control the idea that some of the light is coming um, partly also even from within our model. Um, this is a, a technique you actually learn a little bit about in um, art school called uh, Caravaggio. It's an Italian technique that was used um, in the paintings of uh, Caravaggio. So you can see the difference that um, this is made by you know clicking our group on and off and now you see what Dodge and Burn can really do to take a photo from feeling you know flat even if it's a good photo we can like bring it to light and create some really interesting um, you know artistic looks with uh, just using these simple tools non-destructively and it only took us two layers and you can do this with one layer if you really wanted to so uh, there you go there's a simple walkthrough on the dodge and burn tool um, you know and uh, now you have an ability to bring out the most of your photos um, in addition to the other tutorials that I've been doing on this channel so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial stay tuned for next week's tutorial also remember this weekend I will be doing uh, some more Photoshop speed art so stay tuned for that uh, next week I will be launching the hack your creativity podcast so look for that on Tuesday all right uh, thanks for watching like the video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe and I guess I'll see you guys next week